morning, everybody. Um, it's a pleasure to be here to uh, make available uh, publicly uh, a new uh, regulatory database uh, governing uh, services sectors, uh, as well as a composite uh, index that uh, quantifies the degree of trade restrictiveness uh, of existing services regulations. Uh, the, uh, the abbreviation is STRI, Services Trade Restrictiveness Index. Uh, you need to get to know that. Uh, it's much easier to say STRI. Um, it's a, an index that covers uh, 40 countries, it covers 18 services sectors and about 80% of global services trade. Uh, what we've done essentially is provide governments with a snapshot um, of their uh, regulatory environment as it governs uh, the services sectors uh, in question. And we've provided them that, that snapshot of themselves uh, relative to uh, the average across the population of 40 countries and relative to best practice. So obviously this allows countries to benchmark their own performance. Uh, it allows uh, trade negotiators to identify bottlenecks and it allows businesses to anticipate uh, some of the requirements that they will face as they try to enter foreign markets. I want to be very clear, we are not prescribing specific country solutions. This is not uh, about prescription. Uh, this is about helping governments to identify their own areas of underperformance and helping them to identify better policy alternatives. But the decisions for uh, remain for, for governments to make, and they can do that, of course, unilaterally, they can do it plurilaterally, they can do it multilaterally, or they cannot do it at all. Uh, but they now have the information upon which they can make those decisions. Just one very brief word, uh, and I'm not going to enter into the substance. Um, no country is always the best. No country is always the worst. There is a very wide dispersion around the average levels of restrictiveness across the 40 countries. What that means, of course, uh, the bad news is there's a wide dispersion. The good news is there are plenty of opportunities to improve performance. Um, we have, uh, as Larry has said, uh, significant material available. Uh, we have, uh, thanks to our uh, ITN group here at the OECD who've done uh, a Herculean task, you have a fantastic database that's available to you now. Uh, you can get in there, it's current. The data is up to uh, 2014. Uh, it is interactive. Uh, you take a look and enjoy yourself. And with that, uh, I'll turn the floor over to Ambassador Froome. 